Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am gonna do something quite unusual today. I mean, maybe you've seen previously in my videos that uh, I don't usually use that many clubs actually. I, I love using like a four iron on, uh, on most holes and for most of my shots. Um, today, I'm gonna give myself a bigger challenge. I have shaved all of my clubs down to just this one, a seven iron and I'm gonna go Tin Cup style. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Tin Cup 7 Iron. It's a movie from the 90s with Kevin Costner. But then there's a 7 Iron. I never miss with the 7 Iron. It's pride against money. I'm at Fitzroy Golf Club in Aotearoa, New Zealand. I've been here a few times, so I feel like it gives me a little bit of an advantage to at least know how the course is laid out. I'm gonna play as many holes as I can until noon. That's gonna be this amount of holes. I don't know how many it says. I'm guessing 12. Let's see. Now, how many shots is that gonna take? I have absolutely no idea. Please uh, leave your guess in the comments and uh, see if you got it right. But uh, let's get to it. Now, did I get any warm up in? Nope, absolutely not. First shot of the day. Let's see how it goes. This is supposedly 142 meters, but it's downhill, so I think it actually suits my 7-iron quite well. A little wind from right to left. Oh, that's good. Is it long enough? I'm not sure. Nah, it wasn't long enough. A little straight. I'm very excited about these like shorter the shorter ones with uh, the seven iron, see how that goes. Normally I would use a sandwich here, but not today. So now we're chipping. <laughs> this could be okay. That was all right. Okay, putting is obviously something I've been dreading a little bit because, yeah, it's not quite the same to use a seven iron versus a putter. Let's see. Oh, that was close. I decided to start on hole 15 today just because then I can hopefully end up by the clubhouse when I'm reaching uh, 12 o'clock. So this is now hole 16 where I'm actually going to go over the green of hole 15. So just have to do this a bit fast before people come to that green. Well, it did get over the green I think. Oh no, I landed on the green, that's not good. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I actually just get all got over the green, so that's good. I can shoot from here my second shot. But I'm not I'm not getting far with this club, I must say. Around 100, 110 meters. So it's gonna take a while. Okay, strike. Yeah, again not so long. 130 meters to the front of the green, uphill. Good swing. I like that. Straight towards the target. Okay. There's about 30 meters left uphill. Pin is that that first tier up there on the green, at the front. We just have to like punch this one into the to the top of the hill, and hopefully that that breaks the ball ball flight. Let's see. It's interesting. There's so many shots today that I'm gonna do that I would have never practiced really before. And it's just gonna be like trial and error, see what happens. Oh, that 
was not much more it needed. Please stop there. Oh, it's gonna roll back. Okay. Close though. Oh there. Pretty good. What's that taking a video of your shot? Yeah. Oh cool. Because I'm only using one club. <laughs> now how about this one? Trigger little one up the hill. And about I think I have about three meters on the green before the flag, so let's see if I can if I can stop this one close. Oh that's great. Perfect for distance. So if I can get this one in for a six, I would actually be really happy with that. <laughs> Let's see. Just a tiny little butt. Hey! Wonderful. So here I'm looking at a par three, 174 meters. Slightly elevated green. And wind is still coming right here into my face going that way. Oof. Got all the way around there. Yeah, it was straight, I like that. And look how the manga is out today. Mount Taranaki is saying hello. Well, I say hello to you then. Hello. Here's that interesting thing about not being able to reach a par three in two, which I actually don't think I can on this one. It means that I normally would have to break it into like a four iron and a, and a pitch or a chip. So I'm kind of in the same situation. I still need to break this one into two. So after that first shot, I've got about 80, 90 meters left. Should just be a nice little, little seven iron. I mean, that's what I've got, so let's see. I think the length is good, direction a bit more to the right than I wanted it to be. Oh, that would have been great if I actually had the right direction. This is quite fun. So this little chip is for par. I feel quite good about it. It needs way less than you think, I found out. It hit the edge of the hole and then it just kept rolling. Damn! What a par that would have been. Anyway, now I'm putting. And now it goes left to right. Oh, that was not enough. Ouch. Now I have this little tester. At least just a two part. Okay, this here's bound to be interesting. Par five and straight, so that's all right. But I think the wind is gonna carry my slice if it if it actually shows up. So expect quite a lot of shots. If I can get this one in in seven, I think I'm gonna be very happy with that. Yeah, slice was there. I think it will stay outside of the trees. I'm happy, I am happy. It's in play. Okay, I think this is okay. Light is all right. Stands a bit down, downhill. I just need to get it out there. Regular 110. Please stay on the left. Oh, that's gonna go into the trees. Yeah, that was not as good as it could have been. So I've got these trees in front of me. I think I'm just gonna go over them. I think I can. Nah, you know what, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go under. Because otherwise I might end up over in the, that hazard to the right. I'm trying to go, go under here. Punch it out a bit. So I didn't go under. 
I went through. Ah, okay. Bit of a mistake there. So it just fell down right here underneath the tree. Okay, now I just need to get out there. There's plenty of space. Definitely prefer to be more on the left than the right. Okay, slices there. But I think I started enough to the left so that it should be okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, this one I'm very excited about. I've got 95 meters to the front of the green. Oh, this is perfect. Love that distance. Okay, I'm gonna aim towards that clubhouse and then hopefully it just comes nicely back towards that flag in the middle of the green. Come back. Oh yeah, that's the wind. Oh, it's gonna be good. That was too short, interesting, okay. Yeah, I did what I could. This one is actually one of those where the seven iron is, is quite an ideal club. Lots of green to work with, just outside the green. Just get it on the green and let, the, let it roll. Let it roll, baby roll. Is that enough? Okay, pace was excellent. Oh, okay. So this is now for seven, which is what I would have been very happy with if I could just buy that before I started the hole. Let's see if I can also cash in here. That's a decent pot. So now we're back on the first hole. 308 meters, par four. Oh, hopefully that's just three shots for me to get to the green. That was straight as a bullet. Fine shot indeed. I know there are people out there who can push their seven iron way further than I can. But uh, that's just how the game is. Seven iron for me is around 110, 120. Let's see if I can uh, avoid this tree right in front of me. Oh yeah, I could. That should be all right. On target. Okay, 90 meters to the front of the green. Let's just at least have an idea of where we're going. Okay, I think I'm gonna aim a little bit to the right of the flag, because the wind is gonna come from here to there, that's all good. Come on, be the length. Oh, that's pin high. That is pin high in three. Yes. That is so exciting to be actually putting for a par for once. Wow. I'm not seeing much of a break. Maybe a little right to left. Oh, I did it. Yes. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, yes, pa. With just a seven iron. And now I'm already considering, should I just retire my putter? Hmm, let's see. Let's not make any haste decisions here. This is also a par four. Pretty much the same length. So uh, I guess the goal is the same. A par? I mean, ah, maybe I'm pushing it. Let's just say a five here would be awesome. Starts a little bit too much in the left for my taste. Now that's fine, just under the tree that I can easily get out from. Just gonna follow those tree lines and hopefully it comes back a little bit to the right. Yeah, that's it. 
it looks like I've got about 120 to the front of the green. I can't see the pin from here, but I just had a look up there and I know where, where to aim. This is gonna be a little bit tough, I think. I don't think I can reach the green, but um, let's try. Full swing here. Oh, it doesn't come back to the right. It stayed pretty straight. Yeah. Let's see what happens up there. Okay, this is a bit more of a testing shot. Maybe I should try a flop shot. Should I? Because I do need to go over the first bump here of the, of the slightly taller grass to get onto the green. I feel like I do need a bit of loft on the club. I'm gonna try to flop it. I haven't tested this out, so <laughs> this could go anywhere. Okay, a good flop. In the end, I'm actually quite happy with that. Not too far from the pin. It's a little longer, I think, than the last hole. But I think about the same pace. Nah, it's a little uphill. Very straight, I think. Maybe slightly on the right-hand side. Oh, come on. Let's prove that the putter is not needed and I will just use this one in the future. A little, little jump there to begin with. I guess that's what you can expect in using a seven iron. Let's finish this off. Move on. This is probably going to be about halfway for the video. And just to give like a little feeling recap, I th I'm actually surprised. I think one thing is that I normally do score quite, quite, quite high scores. I'm not the most consistent to play to my handicap, but the fact that I can go around so far and do s scores that are pretty much similar to when I have a full set of clubs, but only using one club, it's, yeah, it's quite, it's quite thought provoking. That was straight and perfect. There's so much space here. Really no excuse for not hitting the fairway. And I sure did. I should be able to reach the green from down there. Uh, okay, maybe not, maybe not. I have 130 meters to the front. I don't think I can do that in this wind. But it is going towards that hole. But it's too short. Definitely too short. Okay, what do we do here? 35 meters to the front, I think, and then it's just gonna be like three meters to the pin. It's all about the feel. Do I feel it? I think I feel it. Stop. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That's like just two or three meters further than the pin, so that's awesome. And one more time, I've got one of these length pots that, you know, I potted it just two holes ago. Can I do it again? It's very straight. Now can I also putt straight? Oh, it was straight. Just didn't have the line. Again, I'm fine with two putting when I'm not using a putter. 259. Let's see if I can not hit the plane.
Oh my God, is that hitting the plane? Holy smokes. Wow. Does that really do that? Nah, just kidding. It's a short part four, but I can't, I can't reach the green, unfortunately. I think that was because, I mean, I should come with an excuse, right, when you hit the grass. I just didn't, I didn't line up properly than I, like I normally do. I just went over to the ball and then I just didn't have the right positioning. That was silly. But then again, I knew I couldn't reach the green anyway, so um, <laughs> it would have to be a layup of some sorts. I think it just got a, got a little longer than I expected first, first time around. Into the wind. Okay, be good, be the length. I think that's on the green. I'm happy with that, wonderful. So after close inspection, I realized it did not end up on the green, but it would have landed on the green and then just rolled off. So now I've got this little chip here, bump and run for my pa. That's exciting. Mm, I could have used a bit more. Great pot, just didn't have the line. Okay, double bogey. Oh, this is a significant, significantly longer hole. Par four, 348 meters. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say six. I'm gonna be optimistic here. I'm gonna say a six. That would be a really awesome score. Out of bounds to the left. I shouldn't be in there. Came out flat. But that's all right. <laughs> ah, this is prime position. I love it. Still got good way to go. But um, if I can break this one into just two to reach the green, who knows what's going to happen. Excellent. Middle of the fairway again. Okay, the lie is not super. It's pretty dry here. And I've got a bit of a hard bit of grass just behind the ball. That's gonna be tough. 110 meters might be a stinger. Ah, uh, that's okay. It's a bit of a bugger. I feel like with a perfect lie, I could actually have reached the green in three. Let's see if I can put this one close. Oh, well, that stops close to the pin, which it could. I might have a chance for bogey. Oh my goodness, yes. And I just wanted a six, that was my goal. And I thought that was maybe a little bit optimistic. I could now get a five and if I miss it, I still get my six. Well, I'm pretty sure I would get a six. This is a rolling downhill pot, so I gotta be careful. Right to left. Just needs a little touch to set the ball in motion. Yeah, I was a bit too careful there. Oh, but then, a tab in for six, which was my goal. I love that. Very happy with that outcome. Oh, this is exciting. This is 123 meters. I got the wind helping me here from the back. It's a little uphill. I actually think I can reach this. I can almost feel like it's pushing my club. I 
just eagerly wants to go on that green. And it could, it could. Nah, it's short, but it's a decent position. So here's another little cheeky chip. I feel confident, I feel like I can do this one. I can get this close. Just gonna hit the fringe of the green. And then I think it's gonna roll nicely towards that pin. Feet a little bit below the ball. So I'm gripping down a little bit more than I normally would. I think that's the pace. There it is, French. Okay, I did what I actually said I wanted to do, but that was not the, the right thing to do. It went a bit too far. But anytime I'm gonna be looking at a power pot within three meters today, I'm gonna to be very, very happy. I know I can do it. So, um, let's see if this is also one of them. Let's try the downhill. This time I compensated because I felt like I had gone to the right of the hole and this one actually went to the left of the hole. All right, let's just get this one in. Bogey four, that's all right. Ooh, 299, the wind is helping me here again. Hopefully I can get it out there nice and safe. Come back, oh yeah, perfect. The wind just held me there up the top. Yeah, that should be okay. For the next shot, a blind approach, but I actually do know where the green is, so that's good. This is just gonna be a layup. Should be all right. And a decent layup it was. On the fairway. Into a pretty tricky green. I can see the hole is on a very steep down slope. But um, yeah, let's just get close. That's good. Oh, what am I talking about? That's really good. I'll take that. Yeah, this is a tester for sure. It's actually more than a tester. This requires both some luck and some skill, I say. Slide it downhill, right to left. I have a pretty good mark here I can try and aim for. So I just want to get this in so I can at least just two pot. But this is for par. Let's just say it. Put it on camera. Is it close enough to just get this in safely? Oh, it should be. Yes. Bogey. It's very decent. So this is par four, 301 meters. Wind very much from left to right. Starting way to the left. Nicely down the fairway. Let's just do a carbon copy of that previous shot. And I should be very close to the green. Yep. The flag is just over this hill and a bit further. Maybe like 30 meters. Let's see if I can get this one close.
Yeah, could be closer. So this is for par. Let's bump and run that in. Ah, oh, distance is excellent. Well done. There we go. How about that? That was uh, 12 holes just with a seven iron. If I'm gonna look at the scorecard uh, at another day, I'm not gonna be able to say that that was just played with a seven iron. I think it's not decent golf. It was okay at times, but uh, it was very much similar scores to what I get when I have my full set of whatever, more clubs at least, and a putter. Especially the putter, that was exciting. I only had one three putt. I had a few one putts as well, that's awesome. And uh, yeah. It was a challenge and I really liked it. Did I live up to your expectations? Did you guess correctly, score-wise? And what about you? Have you done this yourself? Could you be interested in doing it? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you hopefully next time. Or oh, you'll see me for sure. Bye for now.